Hello my friends, welcome back to my bathroom. It is sample Sunday day. Um, today I got a sample of the, what is the name of this? I got it from Sephora. It is Algenis Algae Brightening Mask. So I thought I would go ahead and try this. Why am I holding up this wrapper for you? Uh, I did get a nice little sample of it. And uh, I also got the printout so that I could tell you what Sephora's machine tells us about this. Um, again, you may not see results. This is for you to um, see my first impression of this product and uh, maybe help you along the way as to whether this is something you would be interested in or not. And don't forget to go to your local Sephora because some of these items are pricey and ask for a sample. And don't let them give you a hard time about that. I really have a hard time. I worked in cosmetics for many years. And I understand the person that comes in and just takes sample after sample after sample. I mean, they're getting their month's supply of skincare through samples. I understand that's frustrating, but when your store supplies little goodies to make samples and tells you to ask for a sample, um, they should give them to you. Okay? All right, so let's get on with the mask. This is the LG Brightening Mask by Elgenist. Okay, so what is it? It's a luxurious, professional grade mask. Okay? That makes it very different. Uh, that harnesses a rich composition of both micro and macro algae. Okay, so what is it formulated to do for us? Uh, it wraps your face in a detoxifying, nourishing power of algae. This luxurious mask gently exfoliates with real leaves of sea kelp and delivers powerful antioxidant protection in a beautiful, freshly scented, blue-green algae silt base. Uh, its expert formulation is designed to visibly brighten, smooth, and hydrate while pampering our skin. Okay, and it says to smooth generously on clean skin uh, in a gentle, in a circular motion. Leave on for five to ten minutes. Rinse with lukewarm water and follow with your morning or evening skincare routine. Apply one to two times a week to achieve optimal results. And that is that's essential in masking. You must be consistent with your masking to see results. I don't miss a day, okay? I could do three videos in a row about masking right now, and it wouldn't bother me. I'd say, ooh, I'm feeding my skin all this goodies. <laughs> okay, so it says to apply in a circular motion. So usually I would use a brush, but because I think it has little exfoliation beads, which we will find out, oh, it's very, it's very firm. Ooh, okay. Let's just apply it. It's a very thick mask, or maybe just because it's been sitting in this little container for a couple of days, it did dry out a little more than it would. I don't remember it being this dry when she gave it to me, but I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, and another reason why I hate applying, it gets under your fingernails. I love a brush so much better, but this would not go on with a brush at this uh, consistency. All right, it's not easy being green, but I do it for my peeps. <laughs> oh, I know I just annoyed a million people. <laughs> well, not a million, I don't have a million subscribers, but I know I just annoyed somebody with my little accent. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, get serious, Tammy. How do I let peeps? I really think that this is probably a little more uh, creamier uh, but it sat here for a little bit, so that's okay though. It'll still work. It's not dead. It'll still work. So let me just put enough on here. I always pay attention to the bad spots on my face. Okay? Let me just put another little dab of this here. Okay. Okay, so it has a very subtle smell. It's a very, um, there's, it's not a perfume-based smell. It's not an awful smell. You would think, see, algae? It's not that. It's very subtle, pleasant. The feel of it, I'm sure, when you first take it out of your container, it is creamier than what I have. I think it probably, I've had it for a couple of days. I think it probably, you know, dried out a little bit in these containers. I mean, after all, they're just little plastic containers. But uh, it does feel, may, I don't know, maybe it is this thick. And if it's that thick, you'll never be able to use a brush with it. 
uh, and I love the brush. But anyway, it, right now it's just dry, drying down and it feels like a, just a soft velvet on your skin right now. And it says five to 10 minutes, but it's drying quickly, so you probably wouldn't need to leave it on the full 10 minutes. Um, for drying masks, I don't like to leave them on too long. I feel they pull on the skin. That could be my imagination, but I really do. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Um, I'm not feeling any tingling, no burning. It's really not as tight as most masks are. Um, yeah, it just has a little a cooling sensation right now. It really smells pleasant. But we need to see the end results, don't we? So I'm going to leave it on for, I'll leave it on for the 10 minutes and then I will come back after I rinse it off and tell you how my skin feels. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back after rinsing off the Algenist um, algae mask. It uh, is very nice, makes the skin feel really, really nice. Uh, let me check out the pore situation. Very nice. Actually, the pore situation is really nice. Um, I don't, okay, for me, I probably, this was a very nice sample. It's a very nice mask. But for me, I don't think I would purchase this one. I'm dry skinned. Um, I do feel a, still a little tingling from it. I think it's very effective, but maybe too much for my dry skin because I'm feeling a little tight. So just keep that in mind if you have dry skin, but for the oily skin or the normal combination, this would be a lovely mask. Again, I highly suggest you get samples of, price, of items that are pricier uh, to try to know if you like them. Uh, this one here, I will put all the information. You'll either, either have seen it in an annotation or it'll be below. But um, it says to use two times a week. If you are someone who has my skin type and you truly want to use this mask, I would say using it only one time, um, mingling it in with your other uh, mask that you choose to use for that week. But my skin is left feeling very, very soft. The pores are very, very cleansed but I do have a tightness to my skin that I don't like when I take a detoxifying mask. So, good product, but not for my skin. First impression, okay? So let us know if you've been using the Algenis LG mask and what your experience with it, with it has been. Um, and don't forget to mention your skin type. That's very important, okay? Uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. And most of all, my friends, be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.